me the thing! Up first, we have Toy Boys Channel, a fairly recent YouTube channel. You should check them out. They have submitted a pair of modified strifes that are absolutely gorgeous. They are Mortal Kombat themed. They've got one of Reptile that you see here. And then the second one is of Sub-Zero. And they've got Fang revamps and are wired for 2S. But other than that, the internals are stock. They are planning to add LEDs once they can get their hands on the clear uh, parts. The jam door trigger and mag release. The, there's someone who makes those in clear resin, I believe. And they're waiting on those and then they're going to add LEDs and these will be even more gorgeous. But as they are, they're an absolutely beautiful set. I love how they even matched the, the magazines. They've got the clear green and the clear blue magazines to go with it. So absolutely beautiful work there. Definitely check out Toy Boys channel on YouTube. Next, this was sent in by BZ and is a real simple mod, but I, for some reason, really liked it. It is a one of the Captain America shields, the one that flips out, and they made it rail attached. And uh, that just tickled me. They, they even painted up the um, strike fire uh, slide with the reverse rail to make it match, which is just a nice detail. And I think it came out looking great. So well done, BZ. Next, we have Mutt. And uh, what I particularly like about Mutt's build, it's generally just a cosmetic build. Uh, he's at, combined a couple of barrel attachments and he's got the stock and he's got it all painted up very, very nicely in an OD green and black motif. But I particularly like his uh, ammo box, which is quite possibly the most creative use of ramen boxes I have ever seen. And I just really liked it. So, well done, Mutt. Up next we have... Troy and his blaster integration that he calls King. He has integrated a Firefly as a Master Key, and I don't know that I've ever seen that done. He did also use the part of the Firefly stock uh, to reinforce the long shots stock, as is commonly done. The Firefly stock is often used in integrations, but I don't know that I've ever seen anyone integrate the uh, the front end as a Master Key before. So currently it's got stock internals, but he is working on that for both the long shot and the Firefly. So uh, he should be able to get some decent power out of this, and I think it's pretty cool looking. Up next, we have something completely different by the Foam Warrior that he calls the Tactical Piper Rifle. It's made from a closet rod, and it is, as you can see, a blowgun that he's done some beautiful cosmetic work on. And uh, he also has an underslung minimized firefly, fire strike, fire strike, uh, for a, a last ditch, last shot. And then uh, he's used the front end of, or the, the lower part, the part that's been cut off of the fire strike, to make a dart holder for the blowgun. And uh, yeah, the, the front end barrel section is a uh, repurposed rival magazine. So yeah, that is pretty nifty. I like the rose gold paint job too. So well done, Foam Warrior. Up next we have Wesley and his absolutely fabulous and ridiculous build. He has a wrist-mounted flywheel. Just, just the flywheel cage mounted to the wrist. Uh, he's used a uh, catcher shin guard from Goodwill and then just mounted a scorpion's flywheel cage onto it and then built the grip which has the rev trigger in it from part of a stampede. Uh, it all runs off a 9-volt battery which the, the scorpion's a 9-volt system and when you don't have the barrel rotation motor or the belt rotation motor... A 9-volt will run it well enough. This obviously, you know, probably isn't his primary, so you don't really have to worry about the capacity. And since they're stock motors, uh, the 9-volt the isn't going to be great because, you know, it doesn't have a lot of current. But this really doesn't need a lot of current because this isn't meant to be a, you know, a long-range, super powerful, high rate of fire blaster. This is a, I just want to be able to push a dart into the back of this off of my wrist, which is just neat. So I like it. Well done, Wesley. And the last of the ones we are going to look at, I have actually seen this one in person. Uh, this is was built by Tater from Afterworld, who, as you can, you'll see in the end what he looks like. He's a very interesting character. But this is obviously a modified demolisher, and it's it's got all the bells and whistles. It's got the ammo counter, volt meter. It runs off of a 3S lipo. It's running um, Valkyries. Now, Afterworlds has a fairly low FPS cap, so he's built a PWM into that axe stock to allow him to dial it down to uh, Afterworlds 
legal levels. And the paint job and the cosmetics are just absolutely spot on and absolutely beautiful done. Uh, he's replaced the original hamp part of the demolisher with a Titan tank and then has built a bike pump into the into the original pump. And then he's got a, a three-shot sledgefire shell absolver for it. So, because that's now the limit. I think you can only shotguns can only fire three darts at once at Afterworlds on, on account of some schmuck running around with something that fired nine. Hmm. Who would do such a thing? Uh, <clears throat> uh, anyway, uh, the paint job, as I said, is absolutely gorgeous. And you will see why he went with that motif in the end, because this is him. He is the one on the left there with the shield and the Volkswagen bus front end shield because that's the kind of magnificent absurdity that happens at Afterworlds. Uh, yeah, so I actually got, like I said, I got to see this one in person. He actually lost the front end, I believe, at one point, and I found it and got it back to him, so uh, that that absolver fell off. So, yeah, absolutely beautiful work there, Tater. I've probably been shot at by this, or I don't know if I've ever killed him. I'm pretty sure I've never been killed by him. Who knows? Anyway, Afterworlds is world. All right. All right. On to the slideshow. So if you would like to have one of your blasters featured, go ahead and send in the pictures. If you're just wanting to have them, you know, featured in the slideshow, you know, take one or two really nice pictures of it. Have a good background. Make sure it's in focus. Make sure that it's, you know, port or landscape rather than portrait. Uh, if you want to have your blaster actually talked about, you know, give me all of the details. What are the internals? You know, what, you know, does it have a name? Has it been used? All that kind of stuff. Uh, and then send me lots of pictures for that so I can, you know, do the whole thing. And, uh, yeah, send them to the captains.xavier.fanbuilds address, and I will feature them as soon as they make it to the top of the list. Thank you for watching.